NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I receive supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Olivia Nantongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. And today I want to talk to you about how to reverse a fatty liver. Think of your liver as your body's housekeeper and handy person that does all this scrubbing and nasty work. Your liver does a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to keeping you healthy and thriving. It aids in the metabolic process, helps with the digestion, and it naturally detoxifies your body. And most important, it's vital for your proper blood circulation. So it's very important, right? However, many of us abuse our liver without even knowing it with things like drinking too much alcohol, eating processed food, um, fried foods, or even being just a little bit overweight, a little bit, I'm trying to be friendly here, being overweight, yes. Now, typically, your liver does a good job filtering out all these toxins but with the number of toxins in today's food and environment your liver may have a hard time keeping up and instead will store these toxins in your fat cells this can put unnecessary strain on your liver and can cause occasional fatigue uh, brain fog and also bloating so these are things to watch out for and I can't stress enough about this detox 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 now fatty liver disease rarely causes any symptoms but it's an important warning sign if you're drinking at a harmful level fatty liver disease is reversible if attended to at the right time and of course if you stop drinking your liver should turn back to normal uh, and even and even cured okay in patients who have taken actions including a 10% sustained uh, loss in body weight it helps a lot now symptoms to look out for abdominal pain abdominal pain or a feeling of fullness in the upper right side of the abdomen that's your belly nausea loss of appetite uh, weight loss especially if this is happening at a rapid pace uh, yellowish uh, skin and whites of the eyes swollen abdomen and legs edema extreme tiredness or mental confusion and of course weakness treatments detox is one of the main treatments actually flush out your liver detox 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 on a regular basis flush out with plenty of water intake water is the best flushing agent uh, infuse your water with uh, lemons limes uh, cucumbers pineapple or herbs to your taste get regular exercise Exercise helps to burn extra calories that reduce your risk of diabetes, excess weight, high blood pressure, and also high blood fat. So exercise is very, very important. A small study including people with uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease found that drinking green tea high in antioxidants for about 12 weeks improved liver enzyme levels and may also improve uh, reduced oxidative stress and fat deposits 
in the liver. So green tea is a great uh, substance to use. Avoid foods um, uh, with uh, <laughs> rather foods to avoid uh, alcohol. Alcohol can be a major cause of fatty liver disease as well as other liver diseases. So avoid alcohol, avoid added sugar. Stay away from sugary foods such as candy, cookies, sodas, and fruit juices, uh, fried foods, added salt, white bread, white rice, pasta, red meat, anything with white flour, stay away from it. Ways to achieve uh, liver wellness, maintain a healthy weight. Maintain a healthy weight, eat a balanced diet, exercise regularly, uh, use alcohol responsibly if you can stop, use it in moderation. Avoid the use of illicit drugs, get medical care if you get exposed to blood other than yours. That's very important. Now, eat plenty of fruits, eat plenty of fruits. This helps. Fill your fruit basket with apples, grapes, and citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, which are proven to be liver-friendly fruits. Consume those on a regular basis. Also, consume grapes as it is or in the form of grape juice or supplements like uh, grape seed extract to increase the antioxidant levels in your blood and protect your liver from toxins. There are many uh, ways to uh, help your liver out. Herbs, use uh, herbs to help your liver, especially when you're detoxing, infuse your water with herbs. Now, a 2018 review of studies identified certain herbs, uh, supplements and spices that have been used as alternative treatments. Compounds shown to have positive effects on liver health included turmeric, mictasol, green tea, as I mentioned earlier, tamarinds. Now, turmeric ensures the natural and smooth flow of the bile duct, a liver cleanser. So turmeric is like a magical spice. Uh, turmeric prevents alcohol and toxins from turning into harmful compounds that can damage your liver. However, stay away from turmeric if you are suffering from uh, gallbladder disease. Yes, some people shouldn't consume turmeric. So if you're suffering from gallbladder problems, stay away from turmeric, uh, bleeding disorders, diabetes, infertility, iron deficiency, hormone sensitivity conditions, pregnant women, and also those who are going to undergo any form of surgery should stay away from turmeric. Three to two weeks for your surgery, you should stay away from turmeric. Tamarind fruit extract is another uh, magical fruit. Tamarind fruit extract has been shown to provide a protective effect for the liver as it contains antioxidants that counter free radical damage to the liver so tamarinds are definitely a go-to when you're trying to detox your liver or flush it out now take a handful of peeled tamarind in a blender add some water mix it well strain the mixture and consume this beverage every day to fight fatty liver disease and of course hepatitis another method to use is of course to make some tamarind tea now when i make my tamarind tea i wash the tamarind crush the skin and just soak everything in the hot water and let it infuse and consume it now if you are new to tamarinds be gentle with it because if you drink excessive tamarinds uh it will also activate your intestines you know causing you to run to the toilet for the number two quite often which is a good thing but of course pay attention to you don't want to drink for example two cups of it and then head out and then get your stomach going so try these methods and remember drink your water detox on a regular level 
uh, or rather basis, exercise, eat healthy, and the ratio workout. Thank you once again. My name is Olivia Nantongo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, share and stay healthy. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.